WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. Currently, we've got, uh, well, a mixed bag. Uh, we had mixed bags the last couple of days, so today's no different. The semis are the ones that are trading to the downside off 16 points. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices trade to the upside. Four tenths were set for the uh, uh, S, uh, for the Dow. That's 100. 47 points, three tenths for the S&P or 12 points, about two tenths for the uh, Nasdaq 126 points there, three tenths for the Russell, that would be a six point move. Gold is off $3 while silver is flat. Lights recruit is up 45 pennies. Natural gas is basically flat and the 30 year treasury printed out at 127.01. That is up eight ticks. Let's take a look at the nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. What do we know? Another day, another dollar. Another day above yesterday's high. Another bullish message out there. We don't have any kind. Of, so the, the only pattern that is out there, we could take a look at it during the uh, Trader's Ed show, is a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. That alone is not a top. In order to generate a top, you need a bearish reversal candle. So watch for that in the ES Mini. Watch for that in the NQ. Short of that, price should continue to move higher. There's no resistance levels on the daily time frame. That is. If we take a look at the spot volatility index, still below its 50-day exponents moving average. That, as always, puts the wind in the sail for the S&P 500. We take a look at the U.S. dollar index. So today, at the, if this were today's close, we would call this a buy the D point pattern. That would be a one, two, three, four, a five bar morning star pattern formation out there. So you, you're, it looks like we're going to get a buy the D point. I bet you if we go take a look at the euro, we've got a TD9 count top out there. Uh, so in this case, what the dollar needs to do, though, is close above the top of that daily profile. And that resistance level is 100.317. That's the area to watch. Goldilocks trying to make its way up towards the top of its weekly profile. That's printing at 19, that would be at 1995.60. Um, but we do have a TD9 count top. Uh, geez, it kind of escapes my mind. We'll have to take a look at that uh, during today's show. Silver, uh, there is no top that I'm aware of in silver, and so silver says that it wants to go tag the 2602 level. That's the top of its bullish structured weekly profile. Lights we crude ran into resistance this morning. That's up at 77.15, the high today, 76.87. 77.15 is the top of its daily profile. Natural gas back inside its bullish structured daily profile. Might be signaling to you and I who wants to make move to 275. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.